Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Love your comments, keep your questions coming. Uh, entertainment only. I was asked by one of my beautiful uh, viewers to keep an eye on uh, Don't Forget Germany. Well, I went, okay, well, what's happening in Germany? So I went and Googled and had a look and I will do a reading now on what is going on in Germany. But for those that are in certain areas, I believe Norway has had record snowfall. Uh, the um, avalanche in, I believe it was Calif Northern California, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I ha have had some news from one of my beautiful viewers is in Canada that they are under the um, the polar effect has hit and the wind chill factor I think is minus 47 whether I hope that's Celsius because otherwise it's even bloody colder um, but yes just please stay safe stay warm for those in the northern hemisphere we are in the effects of climate change now if anyone denier comes on and goes oh what about global warming uh, the globe the term global warming was was abandoned back in the 1980s this is about climate change we used to be in what was a temperate zone it is now considered subtropical uh, this is mother earth trying to heal herself you cannot pollute your backyard and expect your vegetables to grow okay let's have a look germany so what's happening in germany at the moment government in germany uh the federal government uh in germany uh announced tax cuts for farmers that would take place in december of 2024 and of course, the, the farmers all went out on strike, uh, blockading, etc. I looked a little bit further and went, oh, tax cuts, that could be interesting. Uh, basically, the tax cuts were to be that um, uh, vehicles for farm uh, use would not be, would no longer be uh, discounted and uh, they wouldn't be subsidised over diesel. So what's happened is they've walked back on the vehicle discounting um, and have the government and have said that the diesel subsidies would kick in over several years instead of just being in a one hit. Uh, I've, as an Australian, I find it really interesting um, uh, the uh, tax breaks and the subsidies that uh, European countries uh, get because our farmers, so they can write equipment off and expenses off against their income, but they don't get any um, financial reward for farming other than being able to write their expenses off. Yes, when natural disasters occur, they can get uh, interest-free government grants, etc. But our farmers here you basically, um, it's a business and you need to run it as a business. However, I do understand the subsidies because if the farmers weren't subsidised in Europe, they, they, their farming practices would not be profitable and we need to keep uh, the farmers uh, being able to farm in Europe, not walking away from their farms, because it does uh, mean that there is uh, a um, an internal food source happening within Europe. So, yeah, and at the moment, there is it is at a crossroads moment, crossroads moment in regards to farming. I'm not going to deny that. So, I'm using my intuitive cards uh, there. If you if you find them of interest, uh, they're they're for sale over at Etsy. You can. Um, uh, if you go into the more dot 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 section, you'll find the link. Uh, yeah, the magic, the magic that they've been under, what they've been receiving, been unhappy at it being restricted. So, you know, I mean, how do you actually make a profit out of out of ninety cows? I have no idea. <laughs> you don't. You can't without the subsidy. So it is sort of. I do understand. Um, and then what's happening in Germany is the rail workers are now threatening to walk off the job for three days in regards to wages. The farmers are block blockading the um, major, major roads. And uh, I gather all other industries are 
are coming forward. Ah, oh, what have we got here? Right, information. So it is a crossroads moment for those that provide. There's little words down the bottom, but these cards to prompt you, but these cards are designed to go by the images. A lot of ideas available on the world stage in regards to farming, to bringing forth food, uh, being the food bowl. So the farming in on a world basis is at a crossroads and it's time to start looking overseas. Uh, Australia is the driest continent on earth. You'd think it would be Africa, but no, it's Australia. We have a huge move happening in Australia back towards regenerative farming that is um, sustainable farming, not reliant on um, uh, <laughs> endings, endings of uh, of um, uh, 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 petroleum-based um, fertilizers, etc. So let's have a look. Show me, show me the story of the farmers in Germany. What is happening? Farmers' communication, social media, technology, and information coming forward. A lot of technology out there. The farmers can draw and they just need to look at other how other countries do is what I'm getting here. Um, technology as well. In Australia, now I know I'm ranting a little bit here. In Australia, our farmers are really brace, embracing technology, drones to check fencing and water sources, um, gates that have uh, tag monitors on them that monitor the electronic tags that the cows or the cattle and sheep and stuff are wearing. Um, a lot of technology involved in regards to the breeding. Uh, you try and breed... Um, uh, more sustainable, better quality. Also breeding uh, cattle and sheep that don't produce as much methane. This is There's a lot of technology out there that can be accessed. Oh, and that's my dog having to scratch that spot. Um, for those that were concerned, Spot spot is incredibly allergic to fleas. Um, and every summer he seems to pick up. He spent the first nine years of his life Without the dogs he came in contact, never brought fleas with him. Now that we're back in suburbia, uh, yeah, every summer he seems to pick up at least one that has a nibble on him and it just absolutely sends him nuts. So we wash him, deep flea him, give him the tablets, give him the bedding, give him the, <laughs> the antihistamine, sorry, wash the bedding, you name it. Okay. We're talking about the farmers in Germany, and I'm going to put the next card out as well because this is a difficult message for them to hear. Okay, so let's have a look. Future, the, what's happening? Tell me the story of the farmers in Germany. Come on down. Right. Only looking at the farmers. Uh, we've had we've had um, strikes and stuff in Australia in regards to our paramedics and our rail workers as well in regards to wages. Right, difficult message on the world stage. Difficult message for them to hear. Um, poverty, the magic. Okay. Not farming. Right. <laughs> What I'm really here getting here is technology advancements. It's a difficult message for the German farmers to hear on the because on the world stage, this subsidized magic of subsidized farming is causing a lot of unfair playing field anger. I mean, I know that sounds unfair to, to those in Germany. They're angry over um, having their subsidised farming. Literally, farming for a loss is what is happening at the moment. Now, nothing against the farmers themselves. They just are in the system that was the system. But there's a, the farmers in the country are angry about the threat to their 
the, the magic that they can create by farming at a loss. Nothing, nothing against them. Ideas, crossroads moments. This is really a crossroads moment where they need to look overseas for new ideas. Healing, health, bullseye, celebration, money, minus families. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Giving and receiving help. So what I'm really getting in regards to this is that the the days of Joe Blow and his family running their 20 cattle are going to be at an end. I suspect they're even going to be bought out. Is at an end going to be bought out um, and farms are going to be conglomerated is what I'm really feeling here. The positive energy, the love will come fast. Comfort. Okay. Interesting that it's positive energy and it's going to come fast, but this comfort of subsidised farming, it's its at an end. Every drop in the ocean is the key. Networking and the masses. Yeah. I'm, for the farmers in Germany, um, nothing against what you've been doing because that's how it's done. But we are at this period of change. I'm seeing there may be compensation offered to families to walk away from the farms or they are just going to be bought out by conglomerates. Convoluted paths, bravery. Time over it is time going into the future. Stop rebuilding rule is the strength. What have we got here? The vision slow. So yeah, it is going to be a convoluted path. It's going to take bravery. It, it will take time, but going into the future, the stop of, I'm getting encroachment onto farming land. So we've got more here as well than just farmers and, 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 um, and subsidies. Oh, rebuilding of the industry. Thank you. Rebuilding of the industry into a new rule of strengths. And it will divide the slow uptake of the past is what I'm getting there. The slow uptake of the past. This is huge. It's going to be a lightning strike uh, at the st secure home security that these farmers feel. A lot of communication is going to get out there. The future is not yet written, but it is going to bring about change. There's no denying it's going to be change. It's going to be good change. So have faith in this process, but it is going to break down what is, looking overseas to how this is done and hard work to rebuild in this new, stronger way. And this is how, this is the fate and destiny of this. Okay. Um, just, times are changing. Times are changing for Germany and all European countries. It's time to look overseas and see how the agricultural industry are doing differently. I might draw some cards on the 
using my gilded tarot royale on the political climate. Um, I'm feeling that this is a um, stance with the farmers that they either have to have to change they have to change or they'll be forced out basically is what I'm getting have to change or be forced out okay show me the political climate in Germany what's happening don't know when you've got an election over there just show me the political climate what's happening what's happening with these strikes with these Blockades, the political climate in Germany, what's the future going to look like? You've had huge inflation like we have everywhere in the world. Germany is not isolated. Wages have fallen behind, so basically income has gone into negative territory in regards to what can be purchased, but show me the political climate in Germany. Climate in right, Knight of Pentacles, slow, steady progress forward, bringing stability, stability, security, financial. So, yeah, things are not as bad. Um, yes, inflation overtook wages, but wages will catch up with inflation. So I do see steady progress forward, a message being brought forward that is challenging it. So I'm suspecting it's the strikes, et cetera. The, uh, perhaps oh, I'm feeling that there's a really good orator there that's bringing this message forward. Foundation um, is trade. Over, I'm getting overseas trade. Um, the plan coming to fruition in in terms of overseas trade. Oh, a bit of a sneeze there. Um, right. Okay. This is interesting. See where this goes. Plan coming to fruition in regards to overseas trade. So it might be an overseas trade agreement that is signed. In the past, circles of support, farmers supporting rail workers, rail, rail workers supporting the health industry, the health industry supporting them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, restricted by the truth. So the government is going to find itself uh, under some restriction. I think what's happening is they're wanting to move forward faster than what the um, uh, citizens of Germany are prepared to do. So the government is going to face some restriction by the voter. So the immediate future is the voter. Uh, externally, we have a manipulation that will bring about um, exposing some reality. The crab coming to the surface and pulling on the chain. I'm getting it just exposing reality here. Internally in fighting, and I'm not surprised. Um, the workers against the, the employers, against the government, against the... So there is a reality that is going to be brought... How do I put this? Exposed. And internally, there's this really um, argy-bargy back and forth infighting with the message that, they, that the, is trying to get across Hopes and fears, we have the truth being brought forward and determination to bring that truth forward. Secrets secrets being revealed, so it might have been some secret deals done. We've got the sword of truth with the queen of swords. 
might be some. I'm seeing this is going to go to the courts, where the blindfold needs to be removed and the reality needs to be exposed. And moving on with the truth, a lot of truth coming forward in regards to abuse of power. I'm not saying that's the government, but we've got a new start, new plan coming forward that is going to um, really illuminate the situation. Giving and receiving help, so this will be subsidies, compensation, wage increase on offer with the Knight of Cups and it's going to be a real awakening moment. Actions will have consequences. This is about balancing the books as well, uh, but it may also be a court ruling. Okay, carry it. going to come forward very quickly. There is going to be some disappointment in the lack of harvest with the Seven of Pentacles, and I feel that there will be some ruling on it, some new boundaries set. Some will find themselves out in the cold as there is, a, there is a different point of view being undertaken from that of the past. Just putting it out there, I think throughout Germany, there might be a little shock to the system about the reality on the uh, on the world stage. Um, okay. See how it plays? I do see it going to the courts. I do see that there will be financial recompense of some sort. I'm not talking about the farmers here. I'm talking about wage increase, etc., that will be negotiated. It possibly won't be as much as they want, um, but there is a ruling on it. But it's what I'm really feeling is there's going to be a bit of a wake-up call for um, those that have not lived through um, recessions, depressions, etc. Okay, let's see how it goes. Take care.